<laughs> Welcome back to GSL Codex. Uh. Jason Sinertos is here. And uh, we just saw a really interesting match, actually. Gun uh, taking Yoda out. That's right. Kind of weird to see Yoda as the first guy to go out. And uh, Boom Boom, tough group, man, is the guy who gets out first. Yeah, it's, it's a bit reverse almost. Uh, well, we'll see what happens next. Hyun against Squirtle. At least one of these Gosus does go on. The other falls to Code A. Scary stuff, man. This is, is a scary phase of the tournament. The round of 32, you go down low. Yeah, when if you, you fall lose, to Code A, yeah. you know why they call it Code A? So when you fall, you go, ah! <laughs> that was really dumb, but it made me smile. <laughs> You know they call it Code A? Because it's really far away from Code S. No, it's not. No, it's yeah, right next to it, actually. Just like Planet T's next to Planet S. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's get hype. We're going into the final best of three here today. Yun against Squirtle here at the GSL on Cloud Kingdom. Jeez. In the bottom left, we have one of the best New Age Jerks in the world. He is... Yeah. And in the upper right, we have our Protoss player, the best build order uh, engineer in the world. He is... Squatter. And uh, you notice Squirtle once again piling in main. And this is just going to be for uh, a Forge in the main fast expansion. And the reason why you've seen it and do it on uh, uh, Planet S and Cloud Kingdom, basically it's really, really good as a build, but you have to have the right type of choke to make it work. Uh, and that type of choke is something that you can... Oh, wait a minute, he's going for a gateway. Well, it's still a good thing on this map. Uh, because you can wall the choke easily, uh, have like a one zealot thick hole with your core, your gate, and a pylon. But anyways, beyond that, we actually have a quick pool against a gateway in main. So, you know, this is this is something this that... This is already starting out interesting. It's very weird. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very weird. But this is not standard stuff. Normally when you go to a pool at this timing, what you want to do is get in there, kill their forge and their pylon that are at their natural, and make them cannon up in the main and tech uh, from there. But Squirtle has circumvented that completely because he's actually going for like a gateway opening in his main base with a good positioning. So he's not yeah. actually going to take any damage whatsoever. If he loses one probe, it'll be mildly weird. Mildly weird. Mildly weird. Best description ever. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, this is this is as a good situation for Squirtle. You know, it, it's funny because we have we have games where okay, one guy's doing a forge expand, but the other guy is going to have six pool. Yeah. Or we have games where one guy's doing a you know a standard pool opening expand, and the other guy is going you know gateway on one base. Mm -hmm. But this is a situation where um, you know it's actually start out a little bit more interesting. You know. Yeah. Well, uh, we do have. A stalker being Chrono Boost out. He canceled that Zealot, as Squirtle oftentimes does. He never likes to have a Zealot in the early game. Uh, that's unfortunate for him. If he had the Zealot, that'd be a little bit better situation than he's in right now. But uh, the stalker is enough to kill all these off. And it's going to get out in the nick of time. Yeah. Still no probes dead. He might lose one, though. It's a possibility. All right, so we're going to have to see. It. Ah, down one goes. Oh Oop. my god. Not good. That is a huge mistake. That is an unforgivable mistake this by stuff Squirtle. Can pile up. That will pile up. Like he Wow, that's really bad. Um he lost a lot of mining time and that stalker. If you have two stalkers here, it's so different from one stalker. Absolutely. With two stalkers, you can you can send out a stalker for scouting. You could send out both for harassment. I mean there's all sorts of things you can do against someone that has well, you just can a bunch just, of you slow can bully the other player so much better with yeah. a or so much more with a you know two stalkers. Yeah, if you were going for an expand, you can get the expand up more quickly. I mean this is just this is not good. And look at this. No. If you had to sing a soccer at home, you could make that Nexus. Sure, sure. But now he has to wait for this other one. This is a tough opening here for Squirtle. 
Yeah, it shouldn't have been, but it, it turned out it's that so way. It's so weird that this is the final match of the day, Squirtle and Yun. Mm. You know? I was, I was pretty I was sure one of these guys would come out first. Maybe one of these guys, but not both of them. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> All right, well, I mean, he is going to get his expand up. He is doing a little bit of scouting here. There's speed on the way for Hyun. Uh, Hyun is actually not mining any gas still, so he's planning on taking that third base. Well, where do you go from here if you're Squirtle? I mean, do you, do you need a different tech route or well, what? Well, I, I got to say, personally, I like to go right into hallucination with this because you need to figure out what they're I doing. I feel like you always need to get hallucinated if you do if you go for a one-gate yeah. build. Well, it's, it's, I, your I, Robo's I, laid. Is hallucination or go into five gates. Uh, five sure, you could attack. five gate, yeah, pressure. Because you skip the cannon, you kind of have like this weird timing, uh, but you got to figure out what's going on. Now, speed is actually very much so on the way, as well as some more links. So, Squirtle has to be careful, because if he loses these two stalkers as well, things really start to pile up. But when he sees this many links popping out, at that time, he knows that speed's going to be done soon. So, And it's he, moments away from actually happening. He may, he may actually just block the stalkers. <laughs> he said the exact opposite thing. Um, and yeah, he gets away. Yeah, Just barely. Alright, so he's just going up to three gates at the moment, and that's, while you're probing up, that's uh, a decent amount. It means he's not going to go into a like, five-gate attack. He could go into a more-gate attack if he really wants. But he needs to get some sort of intel, whether that's through attacking, that's through hallucination, that's through Stargate, that's through Robo. He needs to tech towards something like that immediately. Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> Hyun is now uh, acquiring that third, droning up. Uh, there's really not much the Protoss can do at this point in time with just a few uh, sentries and stalkers. It's a very defensive posture um, that he's assumed. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm wondering what Squirtle's doing here. He just can't possibly be going into a three gateway attack. Can't possibly be doing that. Well, not, not with the robo making, too. Okay, there you go. That's, that's what I was waiting for, something like that. But I feel like this is not... I don't... I, I really actually... I mean, this is like a weird, somewhat unexplored territory, the right way to play from what happened early on, because it doesn't happen enough uh, to really map it out perfectly. But I do have to question the lack of hallucination. He has all these sentries that aren't doing anything energy-wise. I, I, I think his build got messed up. It certainly did. Early on, and he's, he's trying to recoup it. I mean, honestly, like, if I lose, like, my first stock or something like that, something unexpected, I... I'm a mess, man. Yeah, you yeah. know, the, yeah. The pacing is not the same. You, you weren't able to, to to shove him back the same way you would wanted have to, or would have wanted to. So, mm -hmm. I feel like uh, without the hallucination, like for instance, what if Hyun went slightly quicker layer? Uh, he could have yeah. gone right into Mutas. And he's playing against a two base Protoss with three gateways and sentries. <laughs> right. And the Mutas just win the game. I mean, in fact, Luckily, he might, he's not he might doing go that, Mutas. But it's a big possibility that you could go Mutas here. We're gonna find out in a second. Yeah. Layer's about to finish. Of course, the festers aren't a bad choice either. Both of them are totally fine. And uh, it's gotta go one of these in a second. Yeah, wait. I'm watching that production tab. Yeah, I'm watching it like a hawk. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, he's still producing. I'm watching it like a hawk that casts Starcraft. Is what I'm doing. No, oh, he's going whenever out there's here. a battle coming, you're like, ha! ha! <laughs> All right, well, I'm not eating a garden snake or something. <laughs> He's actually just taking a fourth in response to the third. This is an interesting uh, choice here, and he has a decent amount of roaches. Well, you know, so. the, the pacing's different because it wasn't a fast expand for us. It was a yeah. one gate opening, and he's going to go ahead and wall this off now. Squirtle is yeah. this entrance. So. He's even throwing the cannon down to uh, make it so that he can focus his defense on that third base, which is a, a pretty good call here because it, Hyun is going to have more units. If you're Terran or Zerg, and you're doing what Squirtle's doing to wall off that uh, that entrance to the second, it actually slows down your army's ability to reinforce, but for Protoss, it doesn't really impact them that much because it can warp in anywhere. True. All right, well, we actually have drops on the way and a Baneling Nest. Well, that's that's not a bad call against someone who's made this many centuries. Yeah. Uh, you know, you just null nullifies any benefit you get from Force Field. It's one of the most difficult things to play against as Protoss is Baneling Drops. I mean, you split poorly one time, they hit your probes one time, anything like that, and you're like, oh, darn. I guess I lose. I guess that's just about it. You do your little counterattack, and maybe you win, maybe you don't. 
Well, drops are going to be finishing up pretty quickly here. There's a ton of roaches out on the map. Meanwhile, Squirtle teching up two Colossus. Uh, unfortunately for him, he just started Blink, so the first Baneling drops definitely have the potential to hit uh, before the Blink is done. And if that's the case, yeah, the splitting of the Stalkers is going to be much harder, the sniping is going to be much harder. Tough spot. All right, the Roaches are coming out now. And uh, they're not going to do much over here to this upper um, center area. But uh, the truth is, the Squirtle's going to have to... Oh, that's a tell. Yeah, if he that sees says that... everything. If he actually sees that, that is so big. Yeah, he sees it. He's this warping not the Sockers over there. Yep. This is really good for Squirtle right now. That's, that is such an important moment that those went past that observer. He's putting the Stalkers too close to the... Um, bottom or the second base well, expansion because it's like to be honest you don't want anything dropping out because if you like blink in or like run in at the last second like you would against Terran to try to kill the overlords they're going to drop the bane and they're going to die like it's better to just make them go away I feel yeah unless you really catch them on press look at those force fields. fields oh my god. god really well done and suddenly Squirtle from a game that was looking really bad this is starting to look really good so funny, there's like no way that he could have known that Observer was there to see these Overlords. And here come the Banelings! Blink is done at this point. Some good force skills going on. Uh, oh, he's losing quite a few probes. Yep, a lot of probes in the red here. Now evacuating. Yeah, but lost, uh, overall, I think he did fine there. Yeah, he only lost 10 probes. That is not bad. 15 now, but uh, no, this Yeah, there was, this one, was one extra Baneling bomb that uh, hit those last group this of probes. Was, yeah, it was pretty reasonable. Yeah, Hyun is up by 50 supply, but it's all in roaches. Yeah. Uh, you know, he has, he has 20 more drones or 18 more drones right now, but his supply is just all in roaches, and he doesn't have an infestation pit. He doesn't have a spire. He's chilling on a Baneling nest without Baneling speed and a roach warrant, and that's it. Yeah, he has a very undeveloped tech tree. Yeah, and that that actually gives Squirtle a pretty reasonable position here. Squirtle can basically uh, make a few rounds of units where warp them in and then just push out. Yeah, you that's why, that. that's why. Excuse me, that's why Hyun's in this position over here. Wow, um, really well done by Squirtle on those four fields. Yeah, talk about uh, zoning out those roaches. Mm -hmm. A ton of lings on the way. Hyun wanting to keep some aggression going. You think Yun will try to drop again here? I, well, it looks like there's going to be little banelings drops and stuff, uh, or at least he'll try. Because you have drops, you have banelings, you may as well. Because as soon as you drop a couple banelings into the, the line and kill all the probes, you're like, "Wow, well, I'm good." <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That's <laughs> what it's like, man. I hear them say it every time they do it to me on the ladder. Sometimes I look in the booths when they're doing it, and I see them mouth out the words. Yeah, in English. Yeah, it's really weird. No, it is. All right, we do have the hive finally start as well as pathing lands. A couple more evos on the way. Big dropping. This is going to be a lot of stuff, man. Yes, it drop is. Drop here. This is like a maxed out Zerg army just being dumped onto this uh, Protoss. This is a ton of units, Stasis, and he's starting to drop. One of the lords goes out before it actually drops anything. In fact, the second one did as well, and oh, almost a third one, but not quite. Everything else looks like it will get out. Um, that actually very went terribly. Yeah. Not nearly as effective as he had hoped. In the well, meantime, um, he's going to attack the third base. Oh my god. Oh my god. He'd be indeed. so sick if he just stormed that. He needs to blink one stalker in there. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah. Well, I think he actually has enough firepower to kill everything before it gets away, anyways. But that would have been cooler looking. For that would have sure. been much cooler looking. That would have been way cooler looking, Squirtle. You don't deserve to be in Kodak. You don't care about the fans. <laughs> All right. Well, Hyun, that was uh, that was a big failure of an attack. The one thing well, we can't, can't say for him is he has four bases. More than that, really. Um, I uh, think all the probes oh, to do is push out. He killed some more probes though. There, are, there's 39 probes left over. Okay. But the main is almost mined out, so it's not as big a deal as it could have been earlier on. Thing is, the army of Squirtle is just so much better right now. Spire halfway done. Hyun does have a fifth base that just popped open, so things like this are important as well. His his economy is pretty damn good. Still 75 drones. Man, uh, you know, Hyun, despite his failed attacks, uh, Squirtle's been somewhat uh, 
impotent when it comes to aggression. You know? Yeah. Throughout most of this game, it's basically Squirtle at home trying to fend off whatever Hyun's doing. Even though Squirtle now has a huge uh, supply lead. Yeah. Uh, and that is such an army lead as well because there are so many drones out compared to probes. Almost twice as many. So we do have just a ton of upgrades going down for Hyun yeah. right now. Armor uh, coming on over here for Squirtle. Yep. And Hyun yep. still doesn't even have one Infester. So that... The later we go into this game, <laughs> the harder it's going to be for him. Yeah. But with this type of economy, you know, he's it's kind of okay that he's still on all these layer units. But I'd love to see him get Baneling speed. I do have to say that. When I see that many slow Banelings walking around, I do have to wonder. <laughs> well, um, and what I wonder is, will any of those ever connect? <laughs> uh, Greater Spire coming here now. Mm -hmm. And I think, yep. Looks like uh, Protoss is going to go ahead and move out. And he'll probably end up attacking the fourth base over here. You could actually go to the main, too. I think That's actually an option as well. To be honest, I, th I almost feel like oh, he should go after the army, him. because if he doesn't, the army will kill his third 100%. It will die. Oh, nice uh, dodge, though, here. That doesn't really do that much. I think you're right, though. You're right. He probably doesn't have to go for the army. Really look at it. Well, you don't want to go... Uh, uh, he could go base trade, but do you really want that right now? Oh, wow. Interesting force build there. He can stop those out with the Colossi and keep going forward. Oh, See, this here is we go. Stalkers are... Oh, well, hold on. Jumping... Oh, so many Balins onto these uh, uh, Stalkers here. Kind of okay there, but there's just way too much for Squirtle still. Bailing speed not quite done yet, so none of those bailings you know, on the ground connect. This is the thing with that situation we saw back there. Stalkers are fast enough they can chase down overlords even if they're yeah. running away, so you really can't load up and just try to, you know, run away. So he is going to go for the fourth, like I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. He will kill it. Don't forget there's a fifth, though, so. Yep. Uh, Hyun's economy is still okay if he doesn't go down there, but he, he does see. He it. might ignore the fifth and go for the third, though. Yeah, I would definitely kill the third after the fourth. Just so much closer. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think uh, that's going to be it. I think Hyun's going to tap out now. Yeah, certainly. GG. All right. Wild game. Squirtle goes up 1-0. The Protoss Hope. That's right. One of them. If Squirtle wins this, Zeratul's going to get so drunk tonight. <laughs> think about that. How's he going to do that without a mouth? That's a good question. I don't know. You have to ask Zeratul. Yeah. I wonder. You know how they use sun? For like their food and energy and stuff. Yeah. What if you hold up like a like a beer bottle and have the sun that goes on you filtered through that or something? Mm, maybe you could do Magic. that. Magic. I'm well, gonna get all my well, plants if, if drunk the, when I go the, home. If the Protoss are kind of plant-like and they you know, get their energy from the sun, I mean, don't they need to be watered like a plant too? That's probably how he gets drunk too. He actually stands in a pot and pours beer on his feet. Those would be some stinky feet afterwards, tasteless. Well, you know, it really depends. He likes the smell. Yeah, I guess that's true. You know. But he doesn't have a nose, does he? So uh, I guess stink doesn't matter. How many senses do they have? Yeah, they can talk with their minds, but they can't smell and they can't eat and they can't taste. Yeah, it's pretty bad being Protoss. It is you pretty really bad being Protoss. It. You rely so much I've on noticed that the, Protoss, the entire Protoss race is pretty much a sausage fest as well. I don't know if you noticed this too. There's some There's like girls. one girl, and she flies the mothership. There can only be one of those. So it's like every Protoss guy is competing. The probe could be a girl, I don't know. Uh, no, Artos, the probe is a robot. <laughs> a robot girl, maybe. It's a, it's a girl robot, you put a little bow tie on her. Yeah, man, have on you her, ever seen the Jetsons? A little, not a bow tie, oh yeah, the Jetsons. Yeah, they have a female robot, because they're made. Right. There you go, all yeah. right. So I think we're, I think we're done day. here, I think we're ready for this all game, right. man. Well, let's right. do it, man, Daybreak. Game number two, Yun versus Squirtle. Yun must win here, or he goes to Absolutely code Absolutely must win. Everything is on the line. Remember, the winner of this best of three goes on to the round of 16 in the most competitive esports show in the world, the GSL Code